federal government reassures Nigerians pledge to resolve economic crisis in the country. Nigerian pilgrim suffers in Hajj. National Hajj Commission of Nigeria pledges to resolve accommodation problem. Muslims across the world celebrate Idil Adha. The International Center for Islamic Education and Culture ICICE organizes Salah Fun Fair in Abuja. Sheikh Abdurrahman today's heads Nimra Mask in Mecca. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to iMedia News. I am Taibat Anifoshi. Now the news in details. Nigerians have been reassured of an impending solution to end the economic recession in the country. This reassurance was made by President Muhammad Buhari during the 2016 cabinet retreat on the economy in Abuja. Speaking on this issue, the Finance Minister Kemi Adioshun says the government has found a strategic plan to revive Nigeria from its economic crisis. She stated that though it is a long-term plan, but its implementation will reposition the Nigeria economy in a better and sustainable manner. She added that the sum of 350 billion naira has been released to reflate the economy. We still think that we can turn things around. We're very confident of what we're doing, but it's just to strategize so that we can uh, do what we want to do, which is to stimulate the economy and get growth going again. Also, the Minister of Communication, Barrister Adebayo Shitu, while addressing members of the press after Jumat service, shed small light on the way forward to achieve all the set projects to revive the economy. Government is doing a number of things. The first thing government is doing is number one to create 500,000 jobs in the teaching sector. But two, government is also introducing a school feeding program, which will take care of about five million school pupils. But government is also going to provide social security for a lot of aged, you know, people and a lot of people who are, you know, underprivileged. Government is going to give, you know, a monthly, you know, stipends to them. Again, that will help in reflecting the economy. The National Hajj Commission of Nigeria has relayed its intention to improve their Hajj operation by securing pilgrims accommodation close to Jamarat. The chairman of National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Barrister Abdullah Mukhtar, stated in an interview with members of the press in Mina, Saudi Arabia, that the Hajj Commission will ensure that Hajj officials will no longer perform Hajj at the detriment of the pilgrims. This will enable them to focus on the officiating assignment in the Holy Land. The Nigeria charged their affairs in Saudi, Mr. Salisu Umar, said Nigeria will utilize its membership of the Organization of Islamic Conference to discuss accommodation in Jamarat with Saudi Arabian authorities as the harsh weather in Saudi makes it difficult for Nigerian pilgrims to perform the three-day stoning ritual. In an online update, the chief imam of Apo Legislative Mosque, Sheikh Mohammed Noura Khalid, has commended the efforts of the National Hajj Commission for an outstanding coordination of the welfare of the pilgrims. As Muslims worldwide marked Eid at her celebration, the Ummah gathered in their thrilling outlook to observe a peaceful and successful Eid Salah. The Eid celebration was commemorated with slaughtering of rams, fun fair and feasts with families and friends. Pilgrims in the Holy Land also witnessed a successful Arafat day and Eid at her celebration with slaughtering of rams after the Imam. The leadership of the Nigeria Hajj Commission also confirmed little casualties of pilgrims recorded this year as opposed to last year's Hajj. Muslims also celebrated a successful Eid in Nigeria as iMedia covers Eid Solar and celebration at Anur Masjid in Abuja. Our message and prayers for our people, our country and our nation is that we continue to ask Allah for peace to reign in our country for our country to prosper and for the multitude of citizenry of this country to be tolerant of one another, to live in peace and harmony with one another. Eid Mubarak. My holy message to the, my fellow Muslims is to love one another, to stop 
crisis that is happening in the country. We should be praying, always pray to Allah to give peace to the country, to everyone as well. Eid Mubarak. The Salah Fun Fair, organized by the International Center for Islamic Culture and Education, ICICE, was graced by Muslim children and parents all over Abuja who came to rejoice in the spirit of the Salah festivity. Part of the events organized were quiz competition, Quranic recitation, football and filling the bottle games, which served as amusement to the spectators and which the imagine winners and participants were given numerous prizes. The two-day form fair was held at a new mosque located at Usetu Abuja to commemorate the Ido at Half celebration with exciting activities for children. Some of the parents expressed their gratitude to the organizers of the event by praying for their progress and upliftment. I am so pleased to be here, really excited to be a part of this. And I think this is the best we can offer our children for this festive period. They have done a wonderful job. May Allah reward them abundantly. For the good things they have been doing, and the do that we are praying for Almighty Allah to protect all the management of the unknown mosque. Let them keep doing the good work of Allah, and may Almighty Allah protect them. What's the name of your school? Prime Scholar School. Are you having fun? Yes. Okay, what do you have to say to the organizers of this program? Thank you. What's your name? Hi. Alima, which school are you from? Jersey Eyes. What? Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah. My name is Mumu Nakisa. I'm here for the fun here. Okay, and are you having fun? Yes. Okay, what do you have to say to the organizers? He's coming out with you for what's your name? I say thank you for this fun here. May God bless you. I want the star prize. Yes, I want a violin. What do you have to say to the organizers of this event? Thank you very much. Also, in the spirit of the Eid festivity, a young Muslim lady, Zainab Abubakar and her friends, organized a charity salah feast for children of Al Umma Orphans Foundation located at Nurul Bayan International Academy, Wusei Abuja. According to her, she was motivated by a deep sense of moral obligation to show love and support to the orphans and less privileged in the society, in accordance with the teachings of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The supervisor of Al Umma Orphanage Foundation, Usman Muhammad, has while appreciating the brilliant efforts made by the young Muslim lady, he has also advised other young Muslims who have the financial capability to reach out to the less privileged in the society to take a cue from the magnanimous efforts made by Zainab and her friends. Children at the orphanage home also express their gratitude to Zainab and her friends for their commendable contribution. Well, the thing was, we just wanted uh, a way to have fun. So we decided that we are going to have fun in a way that we involve other people who, who uh, we also want to make happy because we believe that happiness is when you, want, when you make other people happy as well. The Eid party for orphans, then she said we should, if anyone wants to volunteer to help, so we volunteered, she formed a group chat where all of us contributed. Um, the events we want them to do, the games we want to, um, them to play today. And we contributed some money and got some stuff. You know, Muslim girls, you know, come to the orphanage that is at Umar Orphan Foundation. They started to celebrate their, 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 uh, their Eid Hadia with the, with, the, with the orphans. It is a joyful and uh, which we also advise people to also do the same. So we pray may Allah reward Zainab that she is the, 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 the organizer of this very uh, occasion and I believe which was had been told she Allah will reward her you know for what she 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 she's she doing for the orphans also. I would like to thank them thank them because they have done a very good job for us and may Allah continue to bless them and grant them a journal to feed those. Well, we are very grateful to them. Thank you for giving us this uh, very blessed, happy day. We are very happy here. That. Thank you. May Allah bless them and may Allah continue to give them more and let them continue to do us more of their things. May Allah bless them. Amen. Imam of Nimra Mosque in Makkah has decided to step down as the Imam of the Grand 
Imhara Masjid in Mecca due to health-related issues. The Grand Mufti Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Abdullah, who has been leading the prayers and delivering sermons for the past 35 years, has begged to be relieved of his position in this year's Hajj. Grand Mufti Abdul Aziz, who is also chairman of the Senior Scholars Commission and Iftar Council in Mecca, has called for his replacement for the first time since 1981. Abdurrahman bin Abdul Aziz al Sudais has been appointed as the new Imam of the Grand Mosque in Mecca. Abdurrahman al Sudais is renowned for his fascinating recitation of the Holy Quran and was the Dubai International Quran Award Islamic Personality of the Year 2005. <laughs> وسلامة الحجيج خطوط حمراء لا يمكن تجاوزها برفع شعارات سياسية أو نعرات طائفية. With that, we'll be wrapping it up today on iMedia News. Don't forget to visit our website on www.imediatv.tv. You can also download our app on Google Play Store, subscribe, watch and share. I remain Toy Bat and Infowishi. Masalam. <laughs>